so Never Alone is a two and a half D puzzle platformer based around an Inupiat story called Kanuk Sayuka, which is about a young boy who travels out into the blizzard to figure out where the source is coming from because the blizzard is causing his family to starve. In this case, we've taken that game and we've replaced the young boy with a young girl named Nuna as she does the same exact storyline in order to save her village. So it's got a lot of uh, like Native American influences? Yeah, so the way this game kind of came about is up in Alaska, there's a group of people called the Inupiats, which is like, uh, I think the Inuits and stuff like that. Uh, they're up there in the north and they started realizing that they're having some problems. Like they, they have to wait upon government money to do anything. And then also they, they're losing connection to their culture and the youth especially. They're no longer learning their language or uh, like, we're really under learning their stories and stuff. And so they contacted us in Seattle, our studio of Eli Media in Seattle, and said, hey, we want to work with you guys in making a video game about who we are as a people, about our worldview, and about our stories. So it took some time, and we, we did a lot of research looking into how indigenous people are represented in, in media, across all media, across movies, books, comic books, and, and so on. And in video games, what we saw is almost always any sort of native or indigenous indigenous person is instantly shot on sight uh, or it's very very stereotyped like oh it's the giant temple of the Aztecs with a lot of traps to kill people right and, and we looked at them we said well why are, why can't there be a game that's uh, based upon an old old story that's been passed on for hundreds of generations of these people so you're hoping that this will bring more awareness to the culture uh, that uh, the last community yeah, exactly, and that, that's that's the hope. It, it's one of the big goals of this is to to show other players and show other gamers that you know there's not just one worldview. There's not just one way to look at things. There's a lot more more stories, and there's a lot more things that can be said through a video game than just space marines to save the world by killing aliens. Uh, and by this game, you know, it's about celebrating these differences in our people. So like here, for example, the great thing where a lot of cultures have this belief that there's these two different realms. You've got the spirit realm and, and the earthly plane. Uh, in the Inupiats, they don't believe that at all. They believe all spirits live on the same plane as does everyone else. And so here you have the spirits in the game that are helping you out. They're not being summoned from another world. They're just here always. And Fox has this ability to reveal them to the player in order to help them get across. But it's, it's kind of a difference in, in, in views like that, that, is that we're celebrating and showing the players and stuff. It's got a very unique uh, art style. So, yes. Uh, and it feels a lot like the game Limbo. Okay. Um, yeah, we hear that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you get any influences from <laughs> Absolutely. So when we first started working on this game, that we knew exactly what we wanted, which was an atmospheric puzzle platformer. And so, of course, we looked right away at, at some of the bigger ones, like Journey and Braid and, and Limbo, and especially Brothers and Tell of Two Sons, because that, you know, those games captured the, the tone and pacing that we wanted. So we definitely took some inspiration from there and looked at their player controllers and their art and everything. So you mentioned before that you can control both the box and the girl yes. with one controller. Yes. Um, what's the, what, the control scheme similar to that of like brothers? Uh, no. So the way this one works is is in order for if you're playing single player, for example, you can press the Y button to switch between the two characters, and then if you're the other character, will follow you along with an AI, and they're they're pretty smart, and they very rarely jump off of things. <laughs> Is this just for Xbox One? No, so this will actually be coming on Xbox One, PS4, and Steam, all on November 18th. So like in two to three weeks, something like that. Which is really exciting for us. So what we're playing right now, this is going to be the final build? Uh, this is uh, one of the near final builds. Uh, we're definitely going to be having a few patches and stuff as we release, but we're trying to keep that as low as possible. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the demo version of one of our final builds. Did you get published by the ID and Xbox uh, program? Or uh, sort of. I mean, we're, we're part of Xbox One and ID and Xbox, but uh, we got here through Surprise Attack, and, and we've had a pretty good relationship with Microsoft, especially where uh, during E3 we were at their booth, um, as well as I think it was uh, either Gamescom or EGX, we were at the, their booth again as well. 
and you guys are based in the United States, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so we're in Seattle. Yeah, so what, what do you think about Pax Australia so far? It, it's pretty awesome. It's a lot of fun here. Uh, beautiful countryside and everything. And, and the people are really, really interesting. It's cool to see like a lot of the more uh, like the Australian games around here as opposed to just like the West Coast that we see in, in uh, Seattle. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks so much for taking the time yeah, to talk to us. Yeah, of course. Thank you. You guys are right about at the end of the demo. Ah, okay. Good so time. You guys want to finish that up? Yeah, we might yeah. as well.